Hey folks, welcome to our channel. You know, this is the channel where we talk about Atlanta neighborhoods that are walkable, bikeable, family friendly, where you can park that car, walk your dog, and enjoy life. But today we've got a special edition. We're going to be talking to Kim Pounders at Shelter Mortgage, my go-to mortgage person, about first-time home buyers and the common questions they ask. So stay tuned. I think this will be give you a chance to learn a lot about mortgages. And oh, by the way, if this helps, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and do me a favor, share it with 500 of your best friends on Facebook. Hey guys, we're talking to Kim Pounders with Shelter Mortgage. Um, our special guest today, Kim, tell us a little bit about you and how long you've been in the mortgage business and a little bit about Shelter. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much, Tim. I'm Kim Pounders with Shelter Mortgage. I've been in the business for over 15 years. We are a local lender, and so we sell directly to Fannie and Freddie. So what does that mean to you? That means we do everything local. So it makes the process easier. And uh, Shelter Mortgage has... I know you're in our um, our office. Is there more than one office in town or are you the only office? No, there are many locations of Shelter Mortgage all around inside the perimeter and outside the perimeter. Okay. So before we get to the questions, um, I understand you're another in-town person. What do you like about living in town in Atlanta? Well, the convenience of amazing restaurants, right? Parks. I love the dog parks. Um, so we have great food, and if you have a dog, what better place than the green space that we have in Atlanta? Yeah, you know, I'm in the old fourth ward, and we probably have 20 dog parks within a mile of where I live in the old fourth ward. So it's a real dog-friendly place, and, you know, I've got neighbors that raise chickens right around the corner, so. Yes, we have many of those. I have neighbors a couple of doors down that have chickens as well. I love it. <laughs> So we're here today to talk about first time home buyers and the most common questions they ask. And so let's just get started with the topic at hand. So when should a first time homeowner contact a lender uh, in the process of looking at a house? Great question, Tim. So I believe the sooner the better. So I think everyone's home buying journey and finances are different. So if we start soon, uh, and so that could be six months, that could be a year out. We get a real feel and a plan for what their finances look like and what their goals are. So typically they would get pre-approved, but what's the difference between pre-approval and pre-qualified? So pre-qualification is just a quick snapshot of what your income, your assets look like. So that's when you go online, you complete an online application, the lender pulls your credit and says, hey, here's a letter. A pre-approval means the lender has analyzed and looked at your credit, your income, your assets, which means you've provided your bank statements, your pay stubs, your W-2s, maybe your tax returns. I find that this is always the best way to go. That way we can jump any hurdles that we have up front. So here's the big question that realtors get asked all the time, and that is, how much should I put down? Well, that varies. Again, that depends from person to person. So we have as little as 3% down. There are grants out there for people to help with that as well, all the way to 20% down. Typically, does that the, the first time home buyers tend to be one end to the other, or are they just all over the spectrum? It's all over the spectrum in Atlanta. I see anywhere from 3% down, like I have a first time home buyer I'm working with right now she's putting 3% down. I have a couple I'm working with and they're putting 25% down. Um, I see in a lot of these cases that they get gifts from their parents and that helps with these larger down payments. What kind of documents do I need to get to you to get the mortgage process started? I'm gonna say, I wanna see your pay stubs. I wanna see your last two years W-2s. Depending on your situation, I may need to see your tax returns. 
and your bank statements. And can all that be done virtually? I mean, I, do I need to come into the office and provide that to you? Or? No, everything's online these days. I even have one-on-one -on -one meetings with you just like this to go over things. Another common question I hear all the time is, what is PMI? That great question is called private mortgage insurance. So lenders require this anytime you're putting less than 3% down. So this is something that protects the lender just in case the home buyer goes into default. What tip, what would be the typical loan that would require private mortgage insurance? Anytime you put uh, less than 20% down. The other question I get a lot is what are discount points? It's an extra fee that you pay to get a, a lower interest rate. So homeowners who plan on keeping their homes a little bit longer, a discount point may be a great thing. During my uh, consultation with you, I teach people about discount points, the pros and the cons. Again, everyone's scenario is different. What about closing costs? How much should I be prepared to, to come to the table for with closing costs? So closing costs can be around, I would say typically what I see in Atlanta is around $5,000. This includes your appraisal. In Georgia, you do have to pay an attorney to close the loan. You have intangible taxes, you have state taxes, and then we've got to set up your escrow account, which can be an additional funds. I think um, we're going to do in future videos some stuff on VA loans and uh -huh. also FHA loans. We'll just talk about that later. But for right now, Micah, why don't you put up on the screen Ken's contact information and can folks just contact you directly, Kim? Absolutely. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation and just talk about what your goals are, what's important to you, and see if you're ready. And then we can go to step two. But I love to educate first-time home buyers about payments, down payment, and closing costs. I find, Tim, that when we do that, when you take them out, shopping is easy peasy and they're ready to go. Uh, how exciting. Thanks for the help today. And I'm sure we'll be talking later about some other mortgage issues. Thanks for having me, Tim. It's awesome to be here. So folks, I hope Kim helped you on your mortgage and homeowner search. Do me a favor. If you've gotten valuable information from this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with your friends, and stay tuned for our next video on the Old Fourth Ward.